Hi, I'm Pat Claypatch and welcome to Cooking with Mr. K. Today we're doing monkey bread, which has been a scout favorite for as long as I can remember. We took two packages of these biscuits, the grands, in other words, the bigger ones, and we cut them into six pieces and then we put 10 or 12 pieces in our, our sugar mix, which is a half cup of sugar, a half cup of brown sugar, and a tablespoon of cinnamon. We shake them up real good until they get coated, but before we put any in here, we sprayed it down with cooking spray. In this case, it happens to be canola spray. Now, we're gonna bake this in the oven. It can be done either way, but at Scout Camp, we cook them in a Dutch oven so that the bunk pan doesn't, we're using a bunk pan for this, so the bunk pan doesn't burn on the bottom we have used nuts, like lug nuts, to get a riser, or we found these racks so that the pan does not sit directly on the bottom. So at Scout Camp, we would already have preheated our Dutch oven to make sure that the oil is cooked off and it's fresh. Then we're talking about the oil that it was seasoned with and wiped down with the last time we used it. And then we put 10 coals on the bottom and 24 coals on the top. Every 10 minutes we turn the bottom 90 degrees one direction and the lid 90 degrees the other direction without losing our seal. In the oven where we're gonna bake this today, we're gonna bake it for 28 minutes at 350 degrees. Now before we do that, we are going to pour over a stick of melted butter over the top. Spreading it around as good as we can on the delicious monkey bread. We never have to worry about leftovers with this. The scouts gobble it up. So now at camp, we would put it in our, on our rack. We would put our lid on, which is already preheated with the coal, so we would have a lifter to handle it. We would also be using a deep Dutch oven at camp so that we get our seal at the top. It has legs, this one has legs on it, and this one, that's so that you can have coals underneath, and the lip so it has coals on the top. At camp, we would cook it for about 40 minutes. Again, turning the bottom a quarter of a turn one way every 10 minutes, and the top a quarter of a turn the other way every 10 minutes. This is what it looks like when it's done. We like it when it's juicy like that. We put a plate over the top, take a couple of hot pads, flip it upside down gently so that it goes on the plate. And there it is, Scout Monkey Bread. You want to be a little bit careful when it comes out of the bunk pan because all that good goober is now caramelized and it's gonna be very hot. So you wanna let it cool down enough so that nobody burns their mouth. This goes over very good at Scout Camp. The Scouts absolutely love it. Scout Monkey Bread.